Carrie doing a video inspection of hail damage. Already, you can see damage to the paint here on the flashing. You can see there's hail that's hit that. Also, the roofing here. Flashing has hail damage. That goes underneath this roofing. The roofing's been also coated. See the hail damage here. Hail damage to the metal. Some more coating here. You can see hail damage on the areas that are coated. Collars have hail damage as well as the paint to them. There's some hail damage. Here you can see there's some standing water. And the water is actually standing over areas with hail damage. There's some more hail damage. Metal's been hit with hail. As well as the parapet wall flashing. You can see here on the modified, it's been hit with hail damage. All of this electrical and wires will need to be detached and reset, as well as what looks like maybe a gas line. There's some hail damage. Over here, this has been coated, but there's still hail damage. Hail damage, more hail damage, right there, right there, you can see that it's fractured. And again in the areas that are uncoated, they have hail damage. All the seams have been maintained and been coated, showing that the property owner has done his due diligence to take care of the property throughout the years, unfortunately. It has hail damage right there, right there. In fact, it's pretty obvious this property owner is taking very good care of this property. More hail damage on the top of RTU units. There's hail damage as well as to the fins. You can see that there's different size of hailstones that hit the property and also some wind driven debris. All of the metal has been damaged by hail. Even the stands. You can see an overview of hail damage. Flashings are damaged. See hail. Plenty of hail damage. Every single roll of roofing has these impacts in it, and they're pretty close and consistent. Hail damage. There's also some standing water on the roof, snow, and it of course is on top of the hail damage, and that hail damage is allowing that water to saturate the underlayments and the substrate. And you can see to the sealant there's hail damage as well as to the flashing a termination bar and also there's 
fail damage to the modified. Now all of these are going to need to be detached and reset in order to support this parapet wall. Everything's going to need to be done to code. On the outside, we're going to need to have supports while detaching and resetting it, as well as there's a chance we will need to have the consumer shut down the business for a short time for safety protocols. Because when we detach all these, it's not going to be supported as well as it should be. Walls have already sustained some wind damage, as you can see. There's the damages from the wind. If you look along the, wall, the walls, you can see where the hail has impacted them. See that all of these run into the same roll of roofing material. They'll all have to come down at the same time. And we'll need people out front supporting the walls. Definitely a lot of hail damage. 